What is up everyone and welcome back to another video and welcome to The Beast. Finally arrived, I sort of hinted to a few people that I might be getting one in the future and I finally made it happen. I was able to get one shipped to Australia because Nvidia don't actually ship to Australia which is quite annoying and they were finally in stock the other day so I was able to get one forwarded on Thank you to Com Gateway, by the way, because you guys do awesome work, and this got here in like four days from arriving with them, which is just unbelievable. Anyway, this is the beast, like I was saying. Most expensive graphics card on the market, most powerful graphics card on the market, and this bad boy is going to be the future of my super sampling videos and Elite Dangerous. And we're just going to kick, take things up to the next level. This thing is just... It's like a freaking brick. It is so heavy. And just for comparison... Here's my old one. <laughs> Big box. Doesn't weigh as much as that one though. This bad boy's going to a new home as well. But it's all about the new kid on the block. So we're going to uh, open this up. Have a peek. My elite unboxing skills have no equal. No one is as good as me. Oh yeah. Look at that. Wow, NVIDIA really know how to uh, to do an unboxing, that's uh, for sure. I like the simplicity, that looks awesome. Actually, uh, it's a lot like the Vive, to be honest. It's got that really hard foam enclosure. Holy crap, this card's heavy. Oof. Wow, wow, wow. What a freaking beast. Yep, there it is. 1200 US dollars of graphics card. Landed in Australia, this thing cost almost $1700. Holy shit. But, that is not the whole story. So, allow me to show you guys what else is coming up on the channel. Put that aside. Put all that aside somewhere. I'm going to start a giant box collection. So, what else are we going to do to this card? Well, as you know, that is also air-cooled. So, that's just not good enough, is it? So, what else do we have here? Well, we have a EK water block for this uh, Titan XP. I'm going to call it an XP from now on. So, this is a nickel water block, fresh from EK. They only just got released like last week and yeah so this is going on there gonna do a video about fitting this to the card because not many not very often you get to take apart and a graphics card that expensive so yeah there's that and because my computer isn't actually water cooled we have a giant ass radiator this is a 360 XE series EK radiator absolute freaking beast so we got that. We have a D5 combo reservoir kit because I wanted something a bit smaller this time. I've done a lot of water cooling in the past and I wanted to not go crazy this time because it's really not worth it. So this is a reasonably sized reservoir with a pump built in so I don't have to mess around with too much stuff. And that's that. CPU water block. So this is a EK Supremacy Evo Elite Edition Nickel. And yeah, not really expecting much from the CPU front, but I thought if I'm going to water cool the graphics card, may as well water cool the CPU as well, even though I don't think it's going to really do much in regards to how it's going to perform. So I've got that. Getting a giant pile of boxes here. We have... Noctua NFF12 fans designed for radiator use, high pressure fans, 
three of those. I'm already using Noctua fans, but they're not ideal for a radiator, so these are replacing it. Moving on. <laughs> three meters red tubing, because red's always faster. Can't go wrong with red. Finally, compression fittings. You never have enough of these. I don't actually use compression fittings normally. Normally I uh, use normal hose barbs and uh, clamps, but this is a first for me. So, what's coming up on the channel? Well, first video, we're gonna be fitting the water block to the uh, graphics card. That's gonna be a video in itself because, like I said, may as well share it because it's uh, not very often you get to pull apart a graphics card that costs that much money. So, we're going to be doing that. We are... Next up, we're going to be outfitting the whole computer with water cooling. And we'll work out how we're going to do a video of that. Might be just a time lapse or something. And then finally, the Titan is going to go head to head against my old 980 Ti and we're going to see what $1200 in a graphics card gets you in the way of VR performance because um, yeah this it's as high as you can go so who knows and a few people uh, have already asked me on forums why didn't I just get two 1080s and the answer is that slice support is just it's just not there for VR, and it's also not there for a lot of games, so you cannot beat having a fast single graphics card. It does not matter if you have two fast cards in Sly, they are not always better than a single fast card. So I've always been in the opinion that you buy the best card that you can in a single card, and you try and stick with that because you have a lot less headaches in the long term. Yes, it was a stupid expensive graphics card, and no, I can't really justify the price, but at the same time, I paid a fortune for my old 980 Ti hybrid, and I had 15 months of loyal service out of that card, and it, I, I never regretted it. Once you've bought in at the high price point, you can sell off your old card and keep upgrading, and it's not as bad as what it would normally be buying one of these beasts outright. Anyway, stay tuned. More content coming soon. We're going to uh, get stuck into this. I've got to strip my computer down. So I'm going to get this video finished, uploaded, and then I'm going to pull the thing apart and start building this system up. So I'll see you guys in the next video and hope you uh, enjoy what's coming. See you later.